Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Dev Chronics. This is Prince Dubey and today we are going to talk about the Codex 2.0. So OpenAI have just dropped today's back Codex 2.0. Everyone is wondering now like hey Codex 2.0 what's new about you? So today we are going to dig down every steps and every the aspects that they have introduced in Codex 2.0. So let's bring it back. <music> Welcome back. So let's read between the lines. They have launched the Codex 2.0. What's inside it? So as we can see, they have written they are releasing Chat GPT 5 Codex. Earlier, it was introduced Chat GPT 5 Alpha versions. So that was totally immature. Now they have grabbed a lot of data from our end and they feed a lot of data to the Codex. So Codex now becomes very much mature. That's why it is highly recommended right now from any of the developers. So let's talk more of the now Codex 2.0 is powered by ChatGPT 5 means a version of ChatGPT 5 is very much optimizing the real world software engineering with the help of the Codex. If you can see the benchmarks in the simple ChatGPT, it is 72.8% but if it is work with the codex it becomes 74.5 in the same way in the code refactoring it has the huge leap as you can see this is the 33.9 if we are utilizing only chat gpt5 but if we utilize chat gpt5 with codex it becomes 51.3 percent that is the huge leap we can see in the code refactoring task so it has another benchmark that we can see in front of us next is it can handle everything thing from the writing fresh code to debugging large scale refactoring even i have heard the rumors that it can continuously work on the single task if it is the longer one continuously seven hour longer so let's suppose you have given a command to create a big applications even it can be like a microsoft architecture a full stack application so it can work continuously without break up to seven hours to complete your full stack application or any kind of applications so this is the another uh, big updates that we can see in the codex 2.0 perfect that's uh, i just amazed with this kind of updates next is that is very much advantageous for any of the developers who are utilizing the chat gpt fiber codex that is the tokens uses so if we are utilizing the codex this is the another a huge impact happens here if you can see it has the 102 percent less utilized the tokens that we are giving every prompt so it as we know like every prompts have multiples character and multiples sentences and words right so on the basis of that it takes the uh, tokens inside ours we have let's say four lakhs tokens and crores of the tokens and they utilize by their response and request time so if you can see there is huge optimize happen inside it as well now what's next? Next is the chat GPT-5 codex has been trained specifically to conduct the code review as well and finding the critical flaw. So it work with our code base over all the structure and it can scan the like whole our code base. The, what kind of flaws is going on and what's the error that they can anticipate and we should like a fix at the initial time so if you can see the benchmarks of the codex id it's a, like a huge impact somewhere it's like lacking but other places it is like a huge leap from the code chat gpt5 alone okay so let's move to the next part so the next part as i mentioned earlier in my previous video as well the codex id is very much compatible with the different different ide either you are utilizing the visual studio code or cursor ide or you are utilizing the winsurf anywhere you can just work with the codex ide you have to just install one extension inside it now codex is fully support the visual inputs as well let's say you have the screenshot you have the like wireframes or ui you can directly put inside the chat and it will read your input of the images and all the stuff architecture and it works accordingly so this is the also a huge update that we can see earlier the codex id didn't support much and much on the like a file side let's say we are uploading any of the images or file or document it was not support that much but now it has like a fully support of that one so a big thanks to the OpenAI team to do the same. Another factor what I can see is that now it is fully integrated with the cloud means 
it can generate the PR, it can write the commits code for your any of the changes. So let's say you have done the changes inside your code and it will write the commit code for you and even it generate the PR in the particular any of the branches that you wanted to do. So this is also a good stuff for any of the developers. They will get rid of writing the any of the commits. So commits uh, sentence as we know like uh, writing the commits sentence is like a very much huge and frustrating for any of the developers. They just uh, struggling to like think what should write in the commit. But now Codex can handle that as well for you. So that was it about the code AX 2.0. So just tell me, would you trust the AI agent to review and write the production code for your team? Let me know about in the comment. I would love to read your comment and reply over there. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.